What's going on guys, Aussie here, welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, 86 overall Alaza has just came out and he looks pretty decent to be fair to him. 88 pace, 86 dribbling, 78 shooting, 83 defending, 83 physical and 84 passing. Not a bad card to be fair to you. I have obviously put a anger chemistry style on him simply because I feel like defensive and physical need to go up. But yeah, increase the pace by a little bit, but I want him to be a pure dominant uh, midfielder in a way. Now he is five foot nine, so he is actually quite small for a CDM. But at the same time, I might have to play him in a centre mid role because a CDM five foot nine I don't really get along with. Now, the high, high work rate is going to be a bit of a problem, but I'm going to put stay back while attacking on him. So hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. He is left footed. He has got three star skill moves. I don't do skill moves with my midfield anyway, so that doesn't matter. But a three star weak foot, it's going to be nice. It's going to be all right. I don't think it's going to do any bad passes, like proper, proper bad passes. But if he had a two star, it was a whole different story. Trust me on that. Now, he is on an anchor chem style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 95 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. A very, very fast midfielder. And as you can see on the other side, 93 aggression. That's going to make the card even faster and want the ball even more. He's got 84 attacking positioning, 71 finishing, 88 shot power, 85 long shots, 64 volleys and 79 penalties. Finishing stats aren't the greatest. I'm hoping if I do end up shooting with him, that finishing... No, sorry, the finishing. The shot power will carry the shot and hopefully it will blast straight through the keeper. Without even, you know, the keeper trying to die for it at least. 80 vision, 88 crossing, 93 free kick accuracy, 85 short passing, 74 long passing, 88 curve. To be fair, the passing is not great. I wouldn't say it's top, top tier. The short pass is going to be nice. He's going to be able to do the little give and goes and one twos, obviously. But at the same time, the long passing, it could be a whole different problem. Because if I try to long pass, aka do the over the top through balls with this guy, it's not going to be great. 82 agility, 90 balance, 78 reactions, 89 ball control, 86 dribbling, and 84 composure. Agility don't look great, I must admit. Reactions also doesn't look great, which means he that might cost him a lot of 50-50s. But his balance, his ball control, and his composure look actually pretty decent. The ball control is going to keep it nice and close to his feet, so that's something I'm looking forward to. The balance is making him not do any falling over animations, hopefully. Now, he has 90 interceptions, him being 5 for 9. He hasn't got that reach to intercept the ball, but at the same time, I'm hoping his defensive awareness, 88, kind of carries him in a way. Him being in the right place at the right time to intercept the ball. That's what I'm hoping for. 98 standing tackle, 97 sliding tackle. That standing tackle is going to be nice. It's going to be a solid tackle. Hopefully, he's going to come out of the ball 9 times out of 10. That's what I'm hoping for. And the slide tackle as well is going to be pretty decent. Now, Usually when you slide tackle, you don't really slide tackle small players. That's something I have noticed in this game. Usually slide tackle the big players because they got, you know, a big reach to them and they can go round someone. With a short player having a lot of slide tackling, it's just going to do one of those straight line, uh, straight line, uh, what's it called, slide tackles. And I hate that animation this year. It, you can give away a lot and I mean a lot of free kicks with it. Now he has got 88 jumping by him being 5 for 9. He might win ahead of over 5 for 10, 5 for 11. But I wouldn't go near 6 foot 100%. 90 stamina, which means up and down the pitch, he shouldn't be a problem. 85 strength is really, really nice to him. Hopefully, he doesn't get body off the ball too much. And as I said at the start, 93 aggression is going to make him faster and win more 50-50s. Now, today, I have linked him up with Lionel Messi, Gold Tomato, and Inform De Jong. I've also got likes of Suarez, Player of the Month, Neymar, and Cyprian in the team. I will be using Oza in a 4-4-2, playing him in a centre mid role. But I also want to try him in a CDM role because why not? It's a shapeshifter card that's originally in the CDM. I'm going to have to try him in that position. So I will be trying him in a 4-2-3-1 and playing him in centre mid. Sorry, centre mid. Centre, say CDM. Why can't I speak today? But let's get straight into these games. Right, the one thing I always do with the midfielders just to kind of test how he is on the ball. To be fair, he doesn't feel too bad. He looks actually quite agile, which is actually a surprise. To be fair to him, he's made a sensational run. Can I get a volley? We're starting off with a goal. Something I did 100% did not expect, especially. I didn't send him on a run. I simply just clicked A. A lot of people would think I actually uh, clicked LBA there, but I completely didn't. He made that run by himself. He saw the gap. I over the top the ball to him. And what a run it is. And it's a beautiful finish, I must say. On that, get on that. You should be on that 100%. There you go. He used his strength there, and that's not someone to body. That's a Kuna, and someone that we did do a player review on. If you guys missed it, link will be in the description. But I tell you what, 
uh, Oza has just bodied him completely and took advantage. Now his long passing is not the greatest, but he's still going to be able to do that through ball. Very interesting. Now, obviously his vision is higher than the short passing, but the short passing, sorry, long passing, but not by a much. He's made a beautiful run here. I'm actually going to flick this little chip over. It's a beautiful pass to Messi, and it's a wide open shot. I'm enjoying how he's going really high up right now. I'm playing him in a 4-4-2 in a centre mid role right now. And he's making these runs that no one's going to kind of expect, as you clearly can see, in the centre mid role. And yeah, basically he's making these runs no one kind of expects. No one expects the centre mid to make those runs. And that's what's making me a bit, a bit happy with him, you know what I mean? I'll tell you what, look how agile he's like people... People think this card's not agile. I still don't know how. I saw on Twitter a lot of people were complaining about the agility. But if you really test him in game, he doesn't feel too bad on the ball at all. Look at that. Turning left and right without a problem in the world. Little drag back. Little switch off play. Look how perfect that switch is. That's unbelievable. And it, they, it says on the card his long passing is not great. I tell you what. I've had two passes across the whole pitch, and he's been pretty impressive so far. Little turn. One thing I am noticing, though, when I do them turns with him, like the little RB turn, he's very slow on it. Like, he's not as expected. He's very, very slow. And he's, I think it's obviously towards his reaction time. When he does it, he doesn't react fast enough to the turn, and he loses the ball. Nice. Good interception. I did control him for literally a split second, but he was already in his, uh, in his proper, proper position. So that's just coming, you know, defensive awareness coming into play, showing that he's reading that cut passing lane. Nice. Then, now, that is a big issue. The way it just bounced off him, I haven't seen that for a very, very long time because I'm always using, like, top quality CDMs. And the fact that the ball has bounced off him there and he didn't react towards the ball... I'm telling you, his reactions is killing him right now. Nice, good, nice little passing option. Didn't feel great there, though. When I took a touch to that right, it was like he was so committed to the right that I couldn't take any uh, touch anywhere else, which was a bit awkward. I can see a through ball there. Can he do it? Very tight. Yeah, I wanted one of those ones where it went kind of a more towards goal, if you know what I mean, and him obviously running onto it. Now, right there, he didn't do the right job. He allowed, he allowed the player to go past him. Usually what they do there is they use his, their defensive awareness, stand in front of the guy to intercept the ball and just collect the ball as simple as. But what he's done there is that he went to man mark and then he just left the play completely so the guy can do whatever he wants. And I've just realised I didn't switch formation. Touch turn maybe. Oh, now he's starting to feel just so, so bad on the ball. I tell you what, at the start... He started, he was feeling good. He was very agile. But now, is he showing his true colours? Is he showing what he's actually about? I don't know. I'm going to obviously continue using him and just tell you guys after. Nice, good interception. I tell you, it's his reaction times. It has to be. The way he's, like, he's reacting so, so slow. And it makes him feel like he's always going to be a bad gameplay, if you know what I mean. Just... So slow on everything. The reactions going to the side. Like right there. Look, he had to take two touches before he took a simple good touch. I don't get it, honestly. It's a good run from him, though. I'll tell you that. Back stick cross, maybe. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good, though. He's not the fastest of players of tracking. I'll tell you that, though. He's very, very slow. At it. The way he moves left to right, it's not like uh, Kondogbia's card, if you know what I mean. The, the centre-back card, he was moving so, so fast when I did the play with you. Uh, Olza, he moves very, very slow in transition. Little dummy. Beautiful drag back. Actually, keep going. He's got his time. He's got his space. Very unfortunate. Hitting it with that three-star weak foot. But he just doesn't go in, I tell you that. It was a decent shot, though. I liked how he was shielding off the guy. It's shielding off Seardoff. Not one easy, not an easy person to shield off. But that's one thing I did like about him there. He's on the edge here. Oh. Oh, just taking so many bad touches. I tell you what. I'm starting to think to myself, he's one of those players that you're just going to have to pass it off instantly. You can't do any of this, you know, any of the funny business where you give him the ball time to time. And you can dribble a little bit. He's simply a person that's probably going to be there just to pass a ball. Because I tell you what, on the ball, he's not looking great. 
Jesus Christ, how many bad touches is this guy going to take? He gives me a little panic attack after every single touch he takes because the touch and turn there, he went so far away from his body and I thought it was going to be an absolute terrible touch. The guy's just going to catch up and intercept the ball. Come on, it's Butragreno. Surely you can catch up slash body him. The ball, he is wide open down low. Mm. It's not a great, and that's what I mean about the inconsistency. You're going to get that time to time. Like, for example, the first game he did two amazing balls. And then in and now he's just doing weird plays. Also, that was a really good interception from him. I just ran back, read the passing lane, and just got the ball with him. Jesus Christ. Now, if, you, if you're not seeing this right now, you kind of get what I mean. The way he takes the touch, and he doesn't accelerate at all. At all. I'm not holding RT. I'm not shielding off the ball. It's just every time he takes a touch, it's so, like, so, I don't know. It's so far away from his body. Nice. One thing I am enjoying is that link-up play. Look at this. He always gives me the passing option, and I'll tell you what. He's short passing towards someone is incredible the way he does it is like he do he's playing a low-key tick attack of play that is one thing i am enjoying from him that was a good mm, yeah again if you actually look at the minimap you see the guy wide open up there and somehow some way he doesn't get it to him and he's just annoying nice they were over the top that's quality that's an unbelievable pass take it calm Little turn. Oh my god, I went for a finesse far post as well. I was so calm and composed just to take the ball down, just to be calm. Yeah, maybe I could have shot it first time uh, near post, but at the same time, you have to realize I just wanted to kind of just kind of mock it if you want to call it. But at the same time, I actually can't believe he didn't finesse that into the far corner. Once again, that beautiful pass. What I had to do there, the Messi to Neymar pass was cut off. So I had to pass it to Olza, which he was in great positioning for. And then I just had to pass from Olza to Neymar and I obviously got this goal. Easy as. Go for the tackle. Oh, he kind of missed out on that tackle. That's annoying. I wanted one of those. I know it wasn't the greatest angle for the tackle. I must admit about that. But at the same time, I need one of those strong tackles. I need one of those tackles that you're going to follow through. You're going to take out the player no matter what. But as long as you get the ball, it's all good. Little calm and composed. You know what I didn't like about him there? It's the fact that he had to step back to then deliver the ball. And I low-key had a little panic attack. Just thinking to myself, oh, well, he's about to lose the ball here. I like how he's just sitting on the edge of the box there. Oh, it wasn't the greatest touch, I tell you that. It was all over the place. The touch bounced off the player, somehow came back to him. And he's had a near post shot that apparently... He, he had, it was a good chance as well. Like, he should have probably scored that. And this guy's left that nil-nil. So it is time to review him. And let me say, this guy, three games, one goal, three assists. He was always there for a passing option. And that is one thing that I did enjoy about him. Can I just say, I had some guy DM me a minute ago. Apparently, this guy looks like me. I don't see it. That's all I'm going to say. Now, 5'9", he hasn't got that reach in the midfield, which means you're going to have to link him up with someone that is 6'2 and above. So keep an eye on that. High, high work rate. Even though I did have him on stay back, he somehow, some way was still running up. But if he's going to be there as a passing option, I need him to be able to assist, aka pass the ball when, you know, the chance comes up. And that's exactly what he did. The left foot, the three-star skill move, sorry, uh... Didn't really do skill with my midfield, as I said, so not going to really look into that much. The freestyle weak foot, I didn't have a problem with it at all until it came down to long passing. It's exactly, you know, the inconsistency you're going to get with his left that you're going to get with his right. Now, pace-wise, he didn't actually seem that fast. I'm not going to lie. On the ball running, it, it was a right. It wasn't, like, top tier, I would say. And moving left to right as well on defensive-wise... He didn't feel fast at all. And I was just, I'm wondering to myself, where is this 95 acceleration? Is it just when he's not, is it just when he's like not on the ball and it's the AI running? Because that's what I'm starting to think of. But because on the ball, I didn't feel like he had that acceleration and sprint speed at all. Finishing wise, he had two chances. Two. He finished one, I must admit, it was a good volley. But he had two clear cuts after that. And he didn't score it. 
71 finishing, let him down. Anyway, passing wise, the short passing was really, really nice. And that is why he got three assists in three games. He was always up there helping me with his positioning as well. But the long passing, I tell you what, there was two long passes that he did quality, like really, really nice. And then all the others were so, so bad. So I do think about the inconsistency through the long passing. And you really have to look into that. Now, first game. He actually felt decent on the ball. He felt agile. He was turning left right, and they were very nice. And I do believe that it was ball control taking over. But at the same time, I'll tell you what. In the other two games, he was slow. So slow on the ball. He was ridiculous. And I do believe the gameplay did change a little bit. But at the same time, you have to understand that if you're going to get a player, you need him to play good in bad gameplay. And that's completely the difference between a really, really good player and a really, really bad player that don't really know that inconsistency through gameplay. Where a good player, aka, I don't know, Team of the Mbappe, Team of the Year CR7, they're always going to play good. Always, no matter what. With Ozar, he plays decent in good gameplay. But when it comes to bad gameplay, oh my god, this guy can't take a touch. His reactions are so, so bad. His agility is terrible. And that's what you really have to look into when you're obviously buying or doing SBCs or players. Now, in 90 interceptions, he missed out on a lot of interceptions because of his height. But when he was in the right place at the right time, he did intercept the ball. The standing tackle was a bit of a letdown, I must admit. He wasn't great at doing the standing tackle. And even though his stats start to say 98, I do believe it's more of a thing where he is too small and he's probably going to get bullied even if he goes in for the tackle. And... I don't really enjoy that that much. Now, stamina-wise, up and down the pitch was no problem at all. And that's something I did enjoy. The 85 strength, though, I could really see it. He was shielding off players. He was a very, very strong player, I must admit. Aggression, though, it was there, to be fair to him. He was winning quite a lot of 50-50s. And he, I could see he sped up when he was going near someone. But at the same time, it wasn't to the extent where it's 95 acceleration and 90 sprint speed. I still don't know where that's coming from. But I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I liked him, but I don't think he's top tier. And I, I think he's proper, proper average. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So I'm probably, I am going to give him, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. I'm thinking of giving him, giving him a 6 out of 10, but I'm thinking to myself, all he can do is tackle the ball and he's decently fast and interceptable. And he's obviously strong and aggressive. But other than that, in bad gameplay, this guy is pretty much useless. So should you do the SBC? It's a hell to na na na. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.